हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू डॉट नेट गो सो अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज लीनियर टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ओके सो बिफोर यू नो स्टार्ट विद दिस सेशन आई आई स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड इट लाइक प्लीज गो एंड वॉच द प्रीवियस सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड द प्रीवियस टू प्रीवियस सेशन यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ यू नो वॉट इज अ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो प्लीज प्लीज गो एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोज फर्स्ट एंड देन कंटिन्यू विथ दिस वीडियो ओके देन वॉट इज लीनियर टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी राइट वेन टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ग्रोज इन डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शन टू द साइज ऑफ द इनपुट यू आर फेसिंग लीनियर टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी और बिग ओ नोटेशन एन एल्गोरिदम विद दिस टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल प्रोसेस द इनपुट एन इन एन नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन दिस मीन्स दैट एज एज द इनपुट ग्रोज द एल्गोरिदम टेक्स प्रोपोर्शनली लॉन्गर टू कम्प्लीट ओके नाउ वॉट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इज डिस्क्राइबिंग राइट सो इफ यू यू नो यू हैव रिटर्न अ कोड ओके दैट कोड वेन इट इज यू नो फॉलोइंग दिस लीनियर टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी दैट मीन्स दैट पर्टिकुलर कोड विल एग्जीक्यूट the number of time which is related to your input size the other language is as much your uh, input size will increase you know your uh, number of execute executing that particular code also will be in- increased that is why at the end what will happen the the total time also will be increased right okay and then the second point is these are the types of situations where you have to look at every item in a list to accomplish a task okay or you can also think about everyday tasks like reading a book or finding a cd in a cd stack okay if all the data has to be examined okay the larger the input size the higher the number of operations are exactly what i have said just now right so suppose the task like in in everyday practically what what you you have used to you know do regularly like uh, reading a newspaper or you know reading a book you know you you have to read each and every line thoroughly you cannot skip anything right and uh, if if there is uh, there is a you know cd stack and uh, suppose you need to find out uh, in one particular cd then what uh, you need to do is you need to you know came up with every other cd with which whichever you know it, it presents before that particular cd you you are searching for right so uh, in those situations you know uh, uh, what are the problems you are having and you want to code and you want to resolve those problem to to you know uh, do do a code you know uh, so those uh, uh, line of code will execute Uh, you know that number of time okay so that is why the time complexity will be increased okay automatically and uh, the last point is you know the last point is uh, linear running uh, time algorithms are very common and they relate to the fact that the algorithm visits every element from the input you know now what uh, uh, this means is that this algorithm nowadays a very common you have to you know follow uh, this algorithm you have to you know uh, you will find some uh, requirement where you have to written some code which will follow this linear time complexity okay uh, here i'm having a small diagram so oh, you know it is uh, related to a graph if uh, you guys understood graph then you can easily you know related that uh, this is a y axis and this is your x axis you know this axis is indicating the input data size and this y axis is indicating the number of operations you know and the notation for linear time complexity is big o notation and in the first bracket you will have a alphabet called small n okay and and in this graph you can see that that arrow is straight away you know going towards uh, uh, higher okay so itself it is indicating that uh, you know uh, when your uh, input size will increase you know that time the number of operations also will be increased okay okay and 
Apart from that, yeah, I'm having a Visual Studio. Okay, uh, I I want to show you something in practical level also in in code level that in you know in uh, which type of code uh, actually following that linear you know time complexity. So here I have uh, you know uh, develop a function. The function name is you know find the maximum number. You know you can see the definition. Uh, which is find the max uh, find the maximum number from the given array okay so he uh, here inside this particular function i have uh, you know created one array okay i have you know uh, inserted some integer values uh, inside that array like uh, 5 uh, 1 21 33 then 7 then 18 and you know among uh, uh, among all the you know all the uh, all this integer i want to you know uh, particularly search for the maximum number now practically we can easily find it that the maximum number will be 33 okay now we will start the program and we will we will find out that our you know program will working fine or not <coughs> yeah so here you can see the output that output saying the maximum number is 33 that means the our algorithm is working fine now why it is uh, you know following that linear uh, time complexity time complexity that i i uh, want to explain to you so if i you know uh, give a break point to this particular line so you can easily understand that uh, we have uh, used a for loop okay a for loop a for loop means it will you know it will continuously executing this particular code until unless it will find the result okay it will uh, that means it will uh, go and it will start searching for from this number and then it will compare with this one that it is uh, greater than or smaller than then it is come to this and then this this and so on okay so uh, it it will execute this particular uh, line of code uh, uh, n number of time n number of time means uh, this 1 2 3 4 5 6 6, six times okay so it is completely depending on your input size if uh, if i increase this input size suppose i have uh, gave you know a uh, 49 then the size of the in input is uh, getting increased now Uh, if i run this uh, you know this uh, program it will execute this particular uh, section of code you know uh, seven times like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so that is why uh, this particular code you know uh, it is following that uh, you know linear time complexity i hope you you have uh, understand that uh, you know which uh, kind of uh, code uh, we will call call it as a, you know it is uh, following that uh, linear time complexity right okay so that's it from uh, my side for this particular topic i hope you you know uh, you guys have understand uh, or understood this particular topic if uh, and like Uh, that video if you have any query then please comment below and apart from that please subscribe my channel and uh, like this video and share with your friends and colleagues thank you very much